Hey guys, welcome to PJ's Coin Caper. So today we're going to do some 50 cent noodling. I've opened up three rolls there just to save us some time at the start of the video. I haven't looked through them, I've just purely taken them straight out of the roll. So hopefully we can find some, but I've got plenty of rolls to get through and uh, we'll see what we can find. So one of my more recent videos, we went through uh, all the coins that I like to keep when I go through 50 cent coins. And there would be other ones that others would like to collect as well. Uh, I chose to try and keep that video to a mintage of less than 3 million. But there are certainly a few more that are just over that 3 million mark that you may like to also keep. Um, I, I've There are coins that I've got plenty of. And uh, some of those ones over 3 million I do have plenty of and chose not to do anything with but uh the iatus coin would be one of the ones that comes to memory and uh, i'm sure there are a couple of other ones that's just post mint damage right there so that's just been banged it hasn't happened at the mint but uh yeah if you look like if, if there's something looks like you could do it at home generally it has been done at home or done in uh like you know in in circulation uh, it's nothing the mint have caused. So I'm not finding anything of value as of yet. So make sure you rotate each and every coin. And it's great that we've got so many new uh, people coming through to the channel. I really appreciate the fact that uh, I put a call out a little while ago in relation to uh my number of viewers versus the number of subscribers and uh there was certainly room uh for improvement there and uh you guys have answered the call and i, I really do thank you for that uh, because it means that my channel gets in front of more people if i have more more subscribers youtube are more likely to put my videos in front of more people uh, which is great for the hobby. Uh, more people get to learn about what we're doing and uh, hopefully come on board and get addicted uh, to this great hobby the same way that all of us are. So I thank you for that. Interactions on the channel, like leaving comments and likes and that kind of stuff really also helps the channel as well. So thank you to everyone who uh, who leave comments on my videos, I do read each and every one of them, and uh, I certainly appreciate them. I don't always get an opportunity to respond to them all, but uh, certainly I do take your um, your comments on board when uh, when things, you know, like if you found something or different sort of things going on in your area, uh, it's always helpful to hear what's going on, and means that I can share with others. Uh, and, and get a feel for what people are finding around the country, which is really helpful. So thank you for that. All right, so nothing is uh, is showing up in the first three rolls, two rolls. So we've only done two rolls. But nothing as of yet that I would class as a keeper. I'm not seeing anything error-wise or date-wise. Oh. So there's lots of uh, lots of coins that are commemorative coins, and not all of them are low mintage. Okay, there's a 1979, but it's not a double bar. I won't bother wasting time and zooming in on that one. If there is one, I'll show you. So recently in these rolls, I've been finding a few of the 2019 JCs. So hopefully some of those turn up in this hunt. Now all these rolls we're doing today are all Armour Guard rolls. And 
it's the only one out of all the armor guard rolls that don't have well 50 cents or ten dollars written on their on their paper for some reason so if anyone knows the answer to why armor guard do that i'd love to know and once i find out i'll share it with you guys exactly why armor guard choose not to label these rolls prosecutor do you know exactly what's going on but it's pretty obvious they're 50 cent coins but not everyone knows that there's ten dollars worth of 50 cent coins in rolls and bags that there is post mint damage so nothing special going on with that coin just heavily damaged Now, I'm not sure if I've said this before, but 50 cent coins are my favorite coin to go through. Do we look at these? Yep. Uh, because there, there's usually, well, usually there's lots of variety. Uh, but I'm not finding anything today, which is a bit frustrating. Because I would say I normally have a little bit more success than what I'm having right now. at the end of three rolls guys and we have found nothing to show you but that's what happens that's the hunt you know it uh it, it can't be all easy and good finds in every roll that would mean that uh the coins that we do find would not be appreciated oh, we're four rolls in aren't we yeah this is our fifth roll now uh, I might open up a few more rolls for us just to save some time in this video after this one. So I'm certainly not stacking these rolls with uh, anything that uh, is artificial. This is exactly how they're coming out. So those rolls that I opened up before, clearly there was nothing in there. I didn't put anything in there. I have been accused of that in comments in the past. But I certainly wouldn't do that to you, try to show uh, a fake response um, or a fake effort. So make sure you check out my previous video on uh, the coins that I keep. If you haven't seen that video, go back, have a look at the uh, 50 cent coins that are worth more than 50 cents and uh, you will learn about why I'm not keeping each of these coins and what I and what I do keep and that's why I'm not spending time on each of these coins why I why I'm not keeping them all right so I've got a few more opened up guys so we will make our way through these Hopefully we find something soon. Two thousand and one, no. Wasn't a state federation coin, so not a keeper for me. Eighteen, bit over three million uh, for me. Still not worth hanging on to. It's probably in the same sort of book, of the, book as the Aatus coin. Bit over three million as well, or around that sort of three to three and a half million. Um, so I don't keep those as well. So I about five or six rolls in and this is the way it goes sometimes you have to uh, get through quite a few rolls and 
you don't get any results, which is which is sad. So if I don't find something soon, I don't think you guys will be seeing this video. Oh, there's the 2019 guys. So that's my that's what I've been finding a few of these recently, and uh, that's the JC. So technically, at the moment, as far as we know, uh, a very low mintage coin could change. So let's put it up here as our first keeper finally. 72 is another low mintage coin as well. Uh, this isn't too bad a condition and certainly it's good to keep these these early 70s, 71 through to 74. Those sort of ones uh, in high grade will potentially be worth a little bit more. Okay, I'll keep this one for now but yeah, the 73 is probably the one to really keep an eye out for. That's a 69 right there. Is there any road cut? No. So it's certainly been a very long time since I've done any noodling on camera, but uh, I did want to follow up my previous video with this one just to sort of see what sort of results we get from uh, going through these coins. This one here, there's a wide date variety and a narrow date. This is a narrow date, which is the more common of the two, but there is a wide date version of it. I'll put this one at the back here just in case I do come across a, uh, a wide date that we can uh, have a look at. Uh, I think that they... They're the same. No double bar on that one. Oh, here we go. Oh, what is it? Yeah, I thought it said 2018 for a moment. Uh, 2019 JC. So that's our second one, which is great. We've got two of those. I really do hope that they are a low mintage coin. I, I'd like to have something special like that. Uh, that is a memento from 2019. There's a Captain Cook. Uh, yeah, once again, I don't keep those either. Weary Dunlop. No extra cards on that one. Thought there might have been a slight lamination on that one. And no extra cuds on that one either. That's a, a coin that does have plenty of cuds. They're not really worth anything more. But if you collect cuds, you'll want to get yourself onto those ones. Ooh, just knocked my next pile over. Let's just bring it over here. Well, no Federation coins, which is quite surprising. I haven't found any of those. But very happy to find some JC. Ooh, that's a nice 79. Is it a double bar? No, it's not, but it's a nice quality coin. There's a 1980, no double bar, but a bit dirty. No, another 1980 and a 79. So they're very common coins. But they don't always have the double bar, so that's what makes them a little bit more special when you do find one with a double bar. It's a shiny coin. What is it? Oh, it's an 18. All right. Uh, 
All right, we might get through another couple more rolls. We've only got one more roll open, but we might just open up another roll. Another shiny coin. And it's another 2018. I've been finding lots of 2018s recently. Oh, 2001. Hey, we've got our first one. So there's a New South Wales uh, Federation coin, somewhere around that 2.8 million, I believe, maybe a little bit less. So that's that's another keeper worth certainly a few dollars. And that's our first 2000, but this is not in Qst. And it's not a fat letter version. Year 2000 Millennium. Oh, another 2018. I thought it was going to be a 2019. Oh, what's this one? Victoria. So there's a Victorian State Federation coin. That's another keeper for this video. Let's put that there. All right, well it is a bit of a longer video, but uh, if you stuck with it this far, you obviously enjoy noodling and uh, the rewards have come late in this video. We may as well keep on going and get through a couple more rolls if we can. I do have a few more rolls. Oh, I haven't done this too well. Let's just Quickly get through this one. There's a 1993. Is that 93? Yep, so a million mintage. So this is one of the ones that I had in the video. And uh, check those are double bars because that does happen from time to time. But that's, a, that's another low mintage coin. 1993 is 100% a keeper because they're not easy to find. Along with the 85, they're the other ones you want. Do one more roll after this one, and then we'll wrap it up. All right, we got a Queensland. This is a nice condition one as well. Really happy with that one. Queensland state coin. So we've got three state coins after I said we hadn't found any. So quite happy with that. Looks like you guys will be seeing this video. <laughs> Please be a double bar. No, it's not, but that's a nice 1980 coin. And a 2011 and a 2018. So certainly the JC 2019 coins are the ones that I'm finding more so. You know, I got one more roll left of 50 cent coins so we may as well get through both of these in the hope of uh finding something else special i don't know how many rolls we've gone through might be 10 by the end of it now let's say narrow date So if you haven't seen that other video I'm talking about, I will uh, link it to the back of this video. So when the when the screen comes up at the end of this video, you will see that video. So you can click on that one and go and watch that so you have an understanding of exactly which coins we're keeping. So 
Plenty of 17s as well. Twenty sixteen. Twenty fourteen. What's the last one for this one? Two thousand and seven. All right, one last roll, guys. I know it's a long video. Thanks for sticking around. And uh, yeah, let me know if you want me to do more noodling. Do some other rolls, maybe some uh, $1 rolls. They're not always going to be hits, okay? We're not always going to find and have good results. But uh, like I said, that would make things boring. But it's nice getting some results. And I'm very happy with that, actually. Out of the 10 or so, so rolls, we've actually got some good finds in the end. Not a double bar. Neither is that one. It's a 79. We're almost at the end of this hunt, guys. And shiny 2006. Last couple of coins. And that is it, guys. So, there the keepers are for today. Let's just zoom in a bit, bring them over. So, a couple of JCs, which is great. And uh, what we got? One, two, three federations and a 93. This one here I probably won't keep, it's a 72, but uh, yeah, I'm happy with uh, the five or six coins that we have found today. Alright guys, that is it for now, please leave a comment, let me know what you thought of this video, if you'd like to see some other coins, if you'd like to see more 50 cent coins, let me know. Um, probably the only coin I won't do is the uh, five cent coin, but uh, thank you very much for watching, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so. Thanks very much guys, bye for now.